Good morning, everybody. It's nice and early. Um, I wanted to do a lesson. This is a little bit more advanced uh, for you guys that are getting into improv, um, and it does break the pentatonic as well. So uh, this might be a little bit over some of your heads, but some of you guys, I really wanted to nail in um, this particular style uh, for some of you guys really getting into improv and kind of playing uh, a little bit more modally. But um, something that I always like to mix into my solos is playing over a minor chord but outlining the, um, the relative major. It's a really, really interesting sound. So in this example, I'm just going from A minor to D minor, and uh, two different times you'll hear me on that D minor. I'm gonna outline a little bit in F major seven. Um, I even add the, the four and the 11 in there. Um, and, and really what's happening is uh, that F it can be very abrupt, especially because this uh, progression is just going from A minor to D minor. So there is no F in there. There's no F major in there. Um, and that F major seven is really cool because, you know, the, the um, I kind of walk right into the, the F, which is our minor third, and then the A of, of D minor. Okay, so if I'm playing a one, one, three, five, seven uh, octave, I'm really over that D minor playing a flat three, five, uh, flat seven, two, so I almost, I miss that D there, and then the minor third. So it's really, really interesting because you're, you're kind of outlining this chord, you're missing the D, right? So it's a D minor, but you're never actually playing the D in this, all right? And then that E that, um, where the major seven is, kind of brings out um, the nine in it. So it just has a, a very interesting, uh, it has a very interesting sound. So I want you guys to listen to it. And then what I did is I also added in the style um, that we did last time, which is the first time you'll hear me outline the chord. Um, and then the second time you'll hear me outline the chord, but before the, um, the measure actually starts. So I'm kind of anticipating it on the second time. Just so you guys can hear it, um, let me know what you think.